All right, retro restorers, a little a little test right now I'm going to be doing. Uh, so really quick, this is my multimeter. I got it set to DC voltage. I got my DC voltage plugged in for power for my Sega Genesis Game Gear. Not Sega Genesis, but just a Sega power adapter that should be giving me enough voltage uh, to take care of this, which I've used it for other, other projects. And... Uh, this is gonna be a faulty power supply. I couldn't figure out why this guy wasn't getting me video. But something I learned that the process and all the great people on YouTube that have shared their knowledge has really helped me. Big shout out to all the great folks. Retro6 is one of the big guys there. Make sure to check out his channel. He has really helped me to understand where everything's at. And then another gentleman that shot a really short video of, of voltage. So, uh, Retro 6 goes more into detail with an, with an oscilloscope, but uh, this other gentleman did a short uh, short video on voltage. So I want to do the same one here because it helped me out, and I want to show you what a faulty voltage looks like. So we should be getting we should be getting here a voltage of five five ground ground. Oh, this, this is from the top down. So first is five volts, five volts ground ground ground. And I believe it's like 1.3 or so, and then 12 volts, or it could be the other way around. And then that one down here should be 34 volts, okay? So let's go ahead and get right into it. It's gonna be tough to do this with, with, with one hand, but I'm gonna touch that screw. And that should give us our voltage. So if we hit that bottom one, geez. This is not the easiest thing to hold down. If we hit that bottom uh, pin, sorry folks, I am losing my, my deal here. Okay, there we go, that's better. Bottom pin gives me nothing. The next pin up gives me 12 volts, exactly what I needed. The one next to that gives me 1.3, which is correct. And then that's ground, ground, ground. The next one should be at the top five volts. I'm getting 0.5 volts, that's faulty. I'm getting 0 0.4, 0 0.3 volts, that's faulty as well. So our problem here is with the power supply, I'm gonna have to do a cap replacement, not a problem. But I just wanted to show you guys, I got no 34 volts here and no five volts at the top. 